The Magic of Life Butterfly House in Aberystwyth is home to hundreds of different types of butterflies from all over the world. Caterpillars and the butterflies they grow into live here in a nice warm environment because that's the sort of weather they like best when living in the wild. I've come to meet Ezzy, who knows a lot about caterpillars and butterflies. Hi, Ezzy. Oh, hi, Chantal. We're in this amazing hot house and it's very warm. Why do caterpillars like a warm environment? Well, caterpillars are cold blooded, so they have to have the sunlight to heat them up to make sure they can eat as much as they can to turn eventually into a beautiful butterfly. I know that butterflies lay eggs, but where exactly do they lay them? So, these are called blue morpho caterpillar eggs and they're laid on the underside of leaves so nothing can try and eat them or see them. And this one is meant to look like a water droplet, see it makes them even more camouflaged. What happens next after the egg? They change into a caterpillar and they go through five stages where they change and they shed their skin. It's like a little shield of armour and they get bigger and bigger before they change into a tiny little chrysalis. Can you tell what the pattern and colour of the butterfly is going to be by looking at its caterpillar? Actually, you can't. So most caterpillars have different colours to symbolise different things. So this blue morpho caterpillar has nice bright colours to warn any predators like birds not to eat it because it won't taste very nice. Whereas other caterpillars might camouflage in, so they would be a nice green or brown to look like the surroundings so they can't be seen by any predators. How long before it turns into a butterfly? So it can take anything up to two weeks to change to a butterfly. They come out of these beautiful little chrysalis and they squeeze their way out and emerge as a beautiful butterfly. So what's different about moth caterpillars? The moth caterpillars are different because they actually spin cocoons. So butterfly caterpillars, they change into something called a chrysalis and moths change into a cocoon and they spin their own cocoon to protect them from the outside world. They can live inside them while they grow into a beautiful moth. And do you have a cocoon that you can show us? I do. So this is an atlas moth cocoon. So this has been spun with silk, but it's also been made out of leaves to give it that little bit of extra protection. So inside this little tiny cocoon, there's a moth waiting to emerge. 